got a nice warm shower. It's delightful. I did not like the roaring of the motor though. No. So we motored for eight hours. So hopefully that's all we have to do. Instant pancake mix and I added strawberries. We never buy instant mix, but for the crossing, you know. Yum, yum, yum. We're Steph and Travis, Canadians who didn't know much about sailing. We didn't let that or a global pandemic stop us from living our dreams, and we've been winging it ever since. We took off from Toronto and made it to Grenada in year one, and we've got no plans on stopping. Subscribe to join our life on the water. Thanks to our patrons who keep the dream going. I'm so like, ah, oh, you want to fly the drone? I'm not that far from it. It's so cool. Yeah, you can fly it and then uh, you right, catch, catch it. it. Whoa. Aren't you glad we got LASIK, huh? Yeah. So we lost all the wind and we're pretty much in the middle of the Atlantic. So I think it's the best time to go for a swim. It's just what you gotta do. But it's funny cause the weather has been chilly. Like it's 20 degrees Celsius. Let's see what the temperature of the water is. You know, I know we can get a startle when we jump in cause we're used to like 25 degrees. The water is the water is 19 degrees. In Canada, as we grew up, that's pretty warm. But this we've we've been degrees. we've been spoiled in the last uh, year and a half in the Caribbean. That's 10 degrees cooler than the Caribbean water. Yeah. Okay. But I'm guessing it now. <laughs> no, you got it. You, you literally have to. Where we are, it's like such a crazy. It's gonna be frozen. It's gonna be freezing. Yeah. So let's do it. <laughs> Should we ease ourselves into it or? Just kill it. Yeah. A little, yeah. little lion cage because I think we're. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. It was uh, super exciting for us because we made our first right turn. We've been sailing pretty much due north for like the past six and a half days and last night. So right now we're pretty much on a course directly to the Azores. Pretty freaking cool but it's also weird because now we're on a, a port tack and we've, we've totally gotten used to the boat on a starboard tack. So now walking around the boat's like a whole new thing again because you know, walking around, you're just used to one side and things being where it was. Now everything's switched and shifted. But uh, got pretty much no wind today again. Six knots, but we're moving at three and a half knots. Which sucks, because our boat sails better on a starboard tack. If we're in six knots of wind, we'd be doing like five knots. I don't know why. Just boat sails significantly better on a starboard tack. Lovely, we just went for a swim. Super cool, like 19,000 feet of water below you and it's like this crystal clear royal blue. It is a totally crazy feeling to watch your boat just, you know. We didn't get away from the boat too much because we had the head sail up and the boat actually was sailing a little bit. So we had to hold on to the rope. But that was a wicked experience. Rod's back in the water and Steph just made some bread and life is good. When it's calm, you can bake bread, laundry in the sink, bed stays in one place. Isn't this lovely? <laughs> this is quite nice. We're moving slowly, but it is nice. Cheers. Cheers. Smoothies. <laughs> Middle of the passage.
it's crazy how majestic out here it is. Like, we're the only people for miles. And 360 degree view, you got 50% of it is water, the other 50% is sky. Like, water, water, sky. So like I said the other day, I wanted to wax the bottom of the dinghy. And since today we're motoring is just super calm, I might as well do that. So when we get there, I can just plop it in the water and I'll have to worry about it. So, got my buffer, generator, I got my polish, and then I got uh, a wax after that. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. You know, not looking for perfection, but I can at least run my nails across it now and it's all smooth. Before it was like chalky and then you get growth that sticks to the bottom real easy. So it's not often I get the bottom of the dinghy cleaned and uh, put upside down. We caught something. He's really small. Hey, he was just floating there. I'm like, God damn, I'm like seaweed again. And I'm like, reel it up. Oh, it's a fish. I looked at him. And I left him in the water because I don't know. What, what can we do? Let me see it. Oh. That's, um, I don't know. Oh, that's like a jack. Yeah. The sun has barely set. And we already have sparkles in the water from the moon how pretty is that we can take it so make sure we do this right I'm feeling up for a bit of a challenge uh, we're going. 7.5 We're going 7.5 knots, 16 knots, 13 to 16 knots of wind and uh, I'm going to try to cut my hair. <laughs> bobbing around as you saw it was really calm and we were just sitting there when the wind died and surely he could have cut his hair that day or at one of the other points where we had no wind but nope I think he just likes the challenge and he wants to do it now so this should be interesting <laughs> let's see if he ends up with a buzz cut I think we really lucked out on the weather window because the thing that I was most worried about was that I would get seasick because we were going east and it's supposed to be, well, it's known to be a little more diverse in the weather. And I just didn't want to be beating into it with no anchorage in sight for days or even weeks on the Caribbean, 15 hours max. I would always know that there'd be a calm anchorage that would be near. So just tough it out for a little bit, feel sick, but you know that if it is bad that particular day, you're gonna be anchored soon enough and all will be good. It's been way calmer than I ever thought it was going to be, especially at times where the wind just dies. The worst of it so far has been this little mishap all over my face, but luckily it wasn't that bad. Got away almost unscathed, just a few cuts and a fat lip that has started to die down. So all in all, it's been very pleasant so far. That was 
It's great. Yes, I've gone shorter. I did something a little different than I usually do because, well, if I screwed up, it didn't matter. But no, you came out all right. I feel young and fresh again. I had to start the motor around 2 o'clock last night. Absolutely not a breath of wind. Um, bummer, but uh, that's the horse latitudes for you. But super cool last night. It was uh, a full moon uh, lunar eclipse with a blood moon. So that was super cool to watch. But it was crazy. We're in like, we're in man of war country. Like thousands. And then last night, I flashed my flashlight in the water and then there was these other type of jellyfish that came to the surface and there was tons and then there was like bioluminescence it was super cool last night it just the air has like this weird sulfur smell so it's it's kind of weird and we're pretty much in the middle right now we're in the middle of the atlantic and it's crazy it looks like the blue prairies out here with rolling hills we got i don't know if you can see it but there's like, you know, probably two to three foot swell with the occasional like six foot swell. They're very calm, but we have no sail up to stabilize the boat, so it gets really uh, pendulum-y. But it's like, we're just going through the prairies and the, on some rolly hills and the hills are moving. Looks like today we're gonna have to motor for probably most of the day, which is bummer, but we're only motoring at uh, like 15, 1600 uh, RPM. So we can use the least amount of fuel as possible. Sometimes it can be a little difficult trying to capture and share just how beautiful the scenery is that we see out here, say if I'm trying to take a quick picture with my cell phone camera. And especially from a moving boat, it makes it way harder. So I'm thankful that Travis is a skilled photographer. His favorite are night photography and astrophotography. If you're like me and you don't know all too much about it, Skillshare is a great place to start learning. So I do want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this week's episode. If you've been watching us for a while now, then you know that I regularly take classes from Skillshare. One that I've taken most recently is led by Chris Burkard, and it's called Outdoor Photography, Shooting at Sunset, Sunrise, and Night. And we've both followed Chris for a while now on Instagram because his photography is just amazing. In this particular class, he shares what type of equipment he uses, his methods, and tips on how to capture things that are a little bit more difficult to bring out, like, say, stars at night. And if you look closely at that photograph of the lunar eclipse that Travis got, you can actually see that he was able to get the stars next to the moon. And that was from a moving boat. So good job, Travis. If you're looking to take on photography, learn a little bit more about it, or anything else for that matter, then Skillshare is a great place to start because they have an endless amount of classes on a whole bunch of different topics, so there's something there for everybody. All levels of learners, and the classes are ad-free, which is always a bonus. Right now is a great time to check them out because they are offering 1,000 of our subscribers a one-month free trial to Skillshare. All you got to do is use the link that I'm going to put in the description box below and you'll get your free one month trial. So explore away and be sure to let us know in the comments what classes you enjoy taking. When the motor's running, we're up to full charge on our house batteries so it can make use of the power. <gasps> There's three! I love the things you said, you said to me, to me it seems like There's one right there! You like me too can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Got my halfway point beer. If you haven't had this beer, it's so good. Got smashing some popcorn. Beer and popcorn. Halfway. We got another 1,200 nautical miles to go. So, we just need the wind to fill out today because, well, we've been motoring all day. No fish still. Uh, just a whole bunch of man of wars. I actually caught a man of war on our lure and I don't want to touch it to pull it off So I just put the lure back in the water and hopefully it disappears uh, We just had dolphins off our bow, which is super cool And that's about our day. We're just plumbing away
Got the pole out to stabilize the boat a little bit, but it's still pretty rolly today. That beer you gotta drink in a glass. It's special, it's Belgium. But a little for me and a little for Neptune for a safe passage. Cheers. This is exciting, we're halfway there. If you haven't seen how the first half of our passage went, we'll link the videos right here. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in our next episode.